Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Panda Dips July Exclusives Collection, and I'll be showing how I created a manicure using some of the colors inside, so let's get right into the video. Alright, so here I'm going to start off with a little unboxing. So this is the package that it came in, it is super holographic and pretty, and here I'm just opening it up, and then I'm going to take out the products that came. So there is a total of five different dip powders, and if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that every month I do a review of the Panda Dips exclusive set, and they always come with five different shades. So here's Girls of Summer, a chunky glitter. Here's Beauty and the Beach, a micro glitter. Flipping Four Flamingos, which is a super pretty magenta. You Are My Sunshine, which is a light peachy coral. And lastly, Summer Nights, a really beautiful blue-purple color. And here's a look at all of the shades together, and I think that they all work really nicely. So for this manicure, I'm going to be using the solid cream shades, which look like this, and I think that they all go really nicely and pretty together. So I'm starting off with my Clean and Prep Natural Nails, and then I'm going to go in with a thin layer of my Sparkle & Co pH Prep Liquid. And this is going to dehydrate the nail surface and prep it for the dip powder application. And then I'm going to follow that with a thin layer of my Oomp Peel Off base coat, and this is going to allow super easy pop-off removal of my dip powder manicures. And recently, I've been getting quite a few questions about peel off base coats, and I did do quite a detailed video previously on my channel, and I will link that in the cards in case you want more information. And now for the dip powder application itself, I'm going to use my Rosalind Dip Powder Base Coat and apply a nice thin layer to my entire nail, dip into the powder, and tap off any excess. And this is my standard dip application routine. I do it in almost all of my videos, and I actually just posted a detailed video on that as well, and I will link that in the cards in case you want to check that out. So I'm starting off with this beautiful blue-purple color, it's sort of a mix between the two, and I'm doing that on my pointer and ring nail. And I'm doing two coats to get full opacity, and you guys know by now that Panda Dips has one of my favorite dip powder formulas. It is so creamy and easy to work with, and the shades are absolutely stunning. So overall with this entire collection, even when I was swatching, I had no issues and I totally recommend checking it out if you haven't already. Now I'm moving on to the next shade, which is the beautiful peach, and I'm doing two coats of this as well. And I honestly think I could have done three coats to get this one a little bit more opaque, but I was happy with the application in two, so that is all I did. And this sort of color block manicure is super easy to create, and it is a really fun technique to do if you don't want any nail art, but you still get sort of a variety between the nails, so it's super fun. And lastly, I'm going to be doing this magenta color on my pinky nail and thumb. And I think that this color is probably my favorite out of the collection. It was the most opaque by far, and it is super bright and perfect for summer. And once all of the colored powder is laid down, I'm going to go ahead and clear encapsulate with my Dipwell Clear Powder. So just like the color application, I'm applying a nice thin layer of base to the entire nail, dipping into the clear powder and tapping off any excess. Now since I didn't do any glitter application in this specific video, I don't necessarily need to clear encapsulate, however I still think it is a good idea to protect the color pigment underneath even if there is no glitter because I don't want to file away any of the color and make it uneven. So it's totally personal preference, but I do highly recommend clear encapsulating. And now that all of the powder is laid down, I'm going to activate using my Rosalind activator. So I'm applying two generous layers of this to all of my nails to harden up the powder and make it ready for filing. And I let the activator sit on the nails for about two minutes or so, and once completely dry, I go ahead and file and buff off camera, 
And now I'm going to be sealing in my nails with my favorite Model Ones gel top coat. So I'm applying a nice thin layer of top coat to the entire nail, wrapping the free edge, and then once I'm happy with the application, I'm going to cure for 30 seconds. Then, once the top coat is fully cured, I'm going to rehydrate my skin and nails using my favorite candy skincare cuticle oil. And here is the finished manicure I was able to create using the Panda Dips July Exclusive Collection. So I absolutely love this color block technique. I think these colors go together really well, and I am super happy with how the products worked. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.